Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome back to this Bank Reconciliation series. If you've joined the series here, then please go back and watch the first video in this tutorial. The first video is a great introduction to Bank Reconciliations and also the Sage software, so please go back and watch that. In this video, we're going to start the bank reconciliation. We are going to reconcile the bank current account. The reason being that the bank account or the account you'll likely be reconciling the most frequently, the most often. So we're going to reconcile the bank current account. Now, the way we do this is by simply highlighting the bank current account and clicking reconcile. Now, what we want to do is we want to reconcile the first month bank statement. So we have a dummy bank statement here, British Bank PLC. This is all an example purely made up. Now your bank statement should look similar to this. You're going to have a statement reference. You're going to have the name of the bank account and then you're going to have a number of transactions which include an opening balance and a closing balance on the statement. It could be your transactions go from top to bottom or bottom to top. It doesn't really matter as long as your statement looks something like this, which it will. All we need to do really is get each transaction from the statement and ensure that that is posted to the Sage software. So bank current account, we'll click on reconcile. We have the statement reference. So that's W1 slash 019. Usually st the statement references have to do with the month. So it could be that the statement reference would be something something like 00884 August and then we can change this one over here to 09 but it doesn't matter what the reference is as long as it's unique to each statement and we'll enter that here so the statement reference is 008019 we have the ending balance so that's the last balance on the statement and the reason why Sage is asking for that is we want to ensure that the balance on Sage for the bank current account is the same as the actual bank statement. So this is the last day of August and the bank balance is 93647. We want to ensure that on Sage, on that date, the bank balance is 93647, that they're identical. If they're not identical, then the accounts are not accurate and something is missing. Or something has been duplicated. Statement date, that's going to be the last date, the last transaction date on the statement. So it's the last day of August 2019, which is the 31st of August. Click OK. We'll then have the bank reconciliation screen appear. Now this may look more complicated than it actually is. But what we have here, we have transactions that are already on Sage in this top box. This is currently empty because there are no transactions for this period up to the 31st of August. And then we have this bottom box down here, which we'll come to a bit later on. So let's just save progress. We don't want to click close because that will make the reconciliation process start from the beginning. We don't want to do that. We don't want to click reconcile because the bank is not yet ready to reconcile. We'll just click save progress, which means we can come back to that reconciliation later on. So there were no transactions on Sage for this period. So that means all of these transactions that are showing on this bank statement are actually not on Sage. So we have an opening balance of zero. So let's Highlight that the bank balance on Sage is zero. There's no transaction showing at all. On the 2nd of August, we have a director transfer or owner's equity. The owner of the business put 500 pounds or 500 dollars, 500 euros into the bank account. So we need to record that. So that's the 2nd of August, director transfer 500. So that is a bank receipt which is up here. So it's the bank current account. 
It's the 2nd of August. And it's owner's equity or director's equity that's being put into the company. So let's just find the capital account, which is just here, 3000 owner money in, 500 T9, save. Now if I go back to the reconciliation feature, if I click reconcile and click on use saved, you'll see that this transaction now appears in this top box. So on here we have director transfer 500 pound 2nd of August and then on Sage 2nd of August 500 pound there's owner money in. So what we can do is we can double click on this transaction and it will bring it down to the bottom meaning that we are reconciling that transaction. Now that has been entered on Sage and has been reconciled, we can highlight that transaction. That's all done. Let's move on to the next one. We have an insurance payment, 37.13 on the 5th of August. It's obviously not on Sage because it's not appearing in this, in this top box. So let's just save that. We can click on bank payment. This is 5th of August, so 05, 08, 2019, it's insurance, 8204, details, AA, membership, and it was 3713, 3713, T0, click save. Now, if you have questions about these bank payments and bank receipts that I'm making, then it might be better if you go back and watch my basic tutorial on how to use Sage, because that tutorial will cover bank payments, bank receipts, invoices, that sort of thing. It's all on my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. If you just go here, and follow the links, uh, then you can take a number of free Sage tutorials. But let's not get distracted. So reconcile, you saved. This AA membership is now appearing. Let's double click on that. That's been reconciled. We save the progress and we can tick this next one off. Sandman Supplies, this is a customer, 480 pound received on the 12th of August. Once again, that's not on Sage. If it was, it would show on the bank reconciliation. So let's do customer receipt, Sandman supplies. And we're talking about 12th of August for 480. So 12th of August, 480. Okay which is this transaction here. Let's save that and then go back to reconcile. You saved. This is now showing 480. Let's double click on that. Click save progress. Mark that off. We have a bank charge on the 15th of August for £6.40. So back to Sage. Bank payment on 15th of August. And this is a bank charge, 7901. Bank charge, and it was £6.40 T0. Click save. That transaction is now on Sage, if we click on Reconcile, we can double click on that. Now down the bottom right here, we have our matched balance and our statement balance. The statement balance is the balance as per the statement. Let's just highlight this because this has been done. So 93647, that's the amount we put in at the beginning of the reconciliation. 
and we have match balance. So when we reconcile a transaction, when we double click from this top box, which brings it down to this bottom box, we are matching transactions. And you can see the running balance is 93647, which is the matched balance. Now the difference is zero, and that's what we want. The difference needs to be zero. If the difference is zero, then the match balance equals the statement balance, meaning everything reconciles. It is all up to date. It is all accurate. Now when, when that's done, all we do is click reconcile and that account will be reconciled. So we can now highlight this. August has been reconciled. We know that every transaction that went in and out to the current account for August is on the Sage software. So that account is accurate for August 2019. Now it could be that we now move on to a savings account, a credit card account, petty cash account, or other accounts and reconcile them for August. But purely for this example, um, for this demonstration, what I'm going to do is now just move on to the next month, which is September, and we'll do that in the next video. So I'll speak to you then.